I don't think anybody saw this coming. For the first time ever in the history of mankind, humans are baffled. Twitter detectives do not know what's going on. The astronauts are being called upon to solve this case because the mystery surrounding this topic has been crazy, to say the least. Because we got Asmongold reacting to it. We also got the homie Eight Thoughts reacting to the story. People doing backflips right now. Something definitely did happen. And I want to get right into it. I'm saying we need the aliens on this one immediately because us humans, we cannot solve cases like that, okay? And guys, I do cover the alien stuff, the UFOs and conspiracies every single day on my second channel definitely check it out oh, yeah. but but check this out right so midnight society a studio that is apparently funded by dr disrespect wait for the video clips that i i want to show you right because ludwig reacted to it and this is absolutely insane so midnight society studio that is funded by dr disrespect they are firing doc oh, shit. they oh, are shit. firing doc and apparently we had this video so in this video you can see let me actually play how well, we run things here so he's kind of like all right and he's he's in an all right of a mood but then he looks kind of down oh my bad he looks down like that right and it feels like that it was at this moment he got the text and his uh, entire mood just changed so something happened around that time and people are wondering that he got the text from midnight society his own studio Telling him that they're gonna fire him, I guess. This came before Midnight Society announcement and him talking about possibly leaving social media. You know how he... And right after this one, yeah, he, he on stream, he did say that he's gonna perhaps step down from Midnight Society. And people are believing he already received that text at that time telling him to, to actually leave, right? Uh, we do not know what happened, but that's what everybody's assuming. Because right after that one, we got Midnight Society officially putting out this post. And they are saying, we assume his innocence and began speaking with parties involved. We do not know who they talked to. Did, did they talk directly to NASA? Did they talk directly to Twitch and this... We do not know. The scholars are baffled, to say the least. And in order to maintain our principles and standards as a studio and individuals, we needed to act. For this reason, we are terminating our relationship with Guy Beam immediately. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Guy Beam is Dr. Disrespect's name, by the way, for those of you that do not know. While these facts are difficult to hear and even more difficult to accept, it is, it, is, it is our duty to act with dignity on behalf of all individuals involved, especially with the 55 devs and families we have employed along with our community of players. And they say on Friday evening they actually became aware of allegations and now they are saying while these facts are difficult to hear, absolute insanity. And people are saying your game is now dead in the water. Evidence, people are asking for can we actually get some proof, not asking for much here. Obviously, you must have uh, some pretty convincing evidence. This is wild. Modern Warzone says that. Do you plan on announcing anything in regards to the future of Dead Raw, which is Doc's game that is being made by Dr. Disrespect Studio that actually fired him right now? Or maybe he stepped down on his own, but it sounds like that they fired him. Nobody knows what's going on, right? And, and Dead Raw was his game that this studio was making, so he's asking about it. And people like me, who are holding Founders passes still. <laughs> It is Joe over. It is Joe over. Now check this out. So Asman Gold reacts and this is what happened. Roll it. Yeah, here it is. This is from today. For those that are looking for me to expand on this weekend, not gonna. I already said what I needed to say. I don't give a fuck about this guy. That's it. XQC said some things will come out the next days that'll clear things out. He heard behind the scenes. Some document, something tangible was like communicated like today to a bunch of people. Imagine XQC actually reveals the truth. Imagine XQC is the one that that reveals what happens. That would be crazy. And it'll it'll probably come out super um, soon. He checks his phone and his tone completely changes. Yeah, this one that we just played. Okay, so this is but I think the first and foremost, though, and is, uh, you know, I did have a sort of a planned vacation coming up, and I think I might just extend that starting today, starting now. And, and a lot of people are saying that him saying that he might retire, quit, or leave the social media, or he's being, uh, what, what's this called, fatigue 
people are actually using that as in like he's guilty maybe he is guilty listen i'm not I, I don't know i was not there i don't know what's going on okay all i'm saying here is that we need the evidence to actually know what's going on because everybody's beefing right now everybody's beefing but people are using these uh wording from doc where he says uh, he need plan plan vacation fatigued by social media as in that he's guilty i don't think that's that's uh that we should just use that as judgment to believe that he is guilty Be because I I'm, I'm pretty sure he's fatigued i'm pretty sure like a, a lot of people are kind of like you know coming at him and he's uh definitely fatigued he definitely don't want to see that now of course if he's guilty then understandably and deservingly so but so far nobody knows what's going on <laughs> and to be honest i don't know how long you know i i, I know where my vacation Wait how long it? my vacation is but you know I think more importantly we need to step away i think i when i say step away i think i mean i'm gonna have to either have to relay this to the midnight society but i you know yeah so you, you know like i i played you this clip so he receives the call and then he stays silent then uh, all of a sudden he talks talks about midnight society which is his studio and then after that midnight society posted this tweet where they say yeah we assumed his innocence and began speaking to the parties involved and then while these facts are difficult to hear they just fired him just insanity maybe i step away from there too just completely remove myself from the scene it's what i need to do I... right take all the time you need says layer cake i appreciate that i appreciate that i'm telling you it's fatigue it's tired it's Wanting to just kind of move away from the limelight. Ultimately, that's what it's about. I mean, shit, there's 50 million other streamers you can watch right now. It's time to drive into the sunset, says Swervin. Oof, man, I like okay. your style. It might be time to drive in the sunset, champs. I appreciate all of you. Please. Just understand this. This is coming from Twitter. All of this is happening because of the one guy that actually posted that on Twitter without any evidence. Now, I'm pretty sure something happened right something definitely has happened what exactly i don't know some people are also pointing out that uh what if this is uh what if doc was actually texting and a chick was lying about the age and doc thought still pretty shitty when you know you got a wife and all that uh but you know what maybe he was texting maybe we do not know right we don't have the evidence so this is like what people are saying that what what if the the chick lied about the age and when doc found out that it was a minor he just pumped the brakes he's like eee! he pumped the brakes peaced out but it was too late at that point maybe that's what happened or maybe he was real he really did what they they are saying that he did or maybe he didn't maybe this is just uh, about something completely else and he's tied legally so he cannot talk about it but then people are also saying okay so what kind of nda are you in that that is making you not sick not come out and say that i was not texting a minor right so people are also saying that uh, some people are just convinced that he did it other people are like hey man we need evidence bro we need evidence we need evidence we need evidence peace do me a favor enjoy the rest of your day Enjoy the rest of your week, and we'll see you soon. What does this mean? If he found out that something else was going to come out, or if he found out he was going to get banned on somewhere else, could just be a sponsor just dropped him? Yeah, who knows what the reason is. Even false allegations can hurt his family and he wants to get away? Yeah, exactly. It, it already is it already has and him getting away does not a hundred percent mean that he's guilty but surely it doesn't look good but him saying fatigue by the internet uh I, I would not just use that as a base of uh hey yeah he's guilty right because i'm sure like everybody's coming at him he's definitely fatigued by it but then we also have the homie ghost of it and he's doing backflips right now so i, I want to play you this and then we'll dive into what happened after okay check this I would like all of you right now to go down in the comments and put down, I am sorry, Lord Ghost of Eight, you are right. Just like always, you are always right. And I am so very sorry for ever, ever doubting you, my Lord, the Ghost of Eight, the Alpha Male, the Omega, the Elite Game and stuff, an athlete. Eventually, eventually, I know like, hey, listen, listen, eventually all you fucking idiots out there will have to come to terms of the fact that, listen, I am actually the most intelligent and the top notch 360 by no oh, athlete out here and has an actual brain, unlike you morons out there, a bunch of sheep who don't have any critical thinking skills. But I will, I will, like the Lord, I am I will forgive you so resubscribe okay so we, we, we got 
So we got, we got the homies. So yeah, the homies doing backflips right now. The homies like, yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> I told you so. I told you so. He did it. He did it. So I wanted to also broaden this as well. I wanted to like show you guys both sides of the coin, like as to what's going on. But then this happens. Check this. I just got out of a 60 hour Elden Ring DLC coma and I woke up to what I think is the biggest YouTube live streaming news of the year. And of course, this has to do with a doc. And although you might have heard Ow. about this situation, there have been some major updates that happened just today. So let me catch you up to speed on okay. what's happened. Now, what this has to do with the alleged reason why Doc got banned off of Twitch four years ago. And Doc is a huge streamer, right? Just for your understanding, he's been around for over a decade. I remember finding out about Doc like 13 years ago when he did the Machinima March Madness contest to find mm. the best premier directors. Old school thing. He went up against my favorite YouTuber at the time, Mr. Phantasmo, beat him, and then I think won the whole contest. Went on to be, again, like the face of Twitch for a while. And even after he got banned off Twitch, which did stifle his growth, he is still today one of the biggest YouTube gaming streamers. Because YouTube gaming streamers is dominated by non-English yeah, speaking countries. Japan, Indonesia, Brazil. Holy, I thought I show Speed would be bigger. So I show Speed is right here, top 10, which is insane. Uh, I don't know about this, uh, the, the first one. And the doc cracks top 10 constantly. I would say he's the second biggest English speaking YouTube live streamer Holy. just behind I Show Speed. So, oh, that is crazy. I thought I Show Speed would be like easy number one, number two, or number three. Massive. Uh, but he probably would be bigger if he didn't get banned on Twitch. Mm. And although he's been banned for over four years, nobody knew why he got banned until a whistleblower tweeted out. He got banned because he got caught sexing a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon, the powers that could be read in plain text, case closed gang. Yeah, so because of that, like, th this guy is who started it all, okay? And to, m uh, to be fair, after this one, we figured out people have gone back and I believe all the way back in 2023, yeah, 2023, last year, he was saying that if he sold enough tickets to his uh, show, that he's gonna reveal what Doc did. Pretty shitty, but he did he did say that, so people are finding that out, right? I, I guess it's very important to this conversation because, yep, uh, after that story, a lot of people that were like saying that Doc is guilty, 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 a lot of people are saying, nah, bro, he's not guilty anymore because of that, which, I mean, listen, we, we need the evidence regardless because these claims are insane they are truly insane and we're living in a day and time where rumors are something that people believe rather than the official news it happens right in terms of video games and you know gaming leaks that's different right like no harm is necessarily done to this extent to a certain degree i guess harm is done maybe but at the end if the leaks are good you know people I, I feel like that if the leaks are good about the game then you know what's going on i guess it makes people having a, it gets people to make an informed decision about buying a game or not because sometimes the leaks are bad about the game and, and it's good to know it really is good to know right other times the leaks are good so it fuels the hype and it sells the games even more but in this situation of course these rumors are ruining his reputation already it has even though we don't have the evidence it, 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 we do not know what truly happened people are believing it yeah and, and cody was apparently selling tickets to his show last year and said that he's gonna reveal more about doc i guess he sold enough tickets and now he comes out or maybe not because now he's coming out he drops this tweet and you know a couple of days later his own studio that doc started this is insanity right so dr disrespect started the studio and he started this game with Robert Balling, who was uh, uh, who's the main guy that was behind Modern Warfare 2009, Modern Warfare 2, the original. So yeah, this is pretty big. This is pretty big. And this comes from Cody Connors, who was a former director of strategic partnerships at Twitch. So a pretty verifiable spot to have been to maybe have this information. Not saying it's true or false, but yeah, that yeah, at yeah. least would make sense why this person would know that. And I want to preface now. Cody is by no means the perfect whistleblower, and I would not use his character to verify whether this info is true or not. I would rather look at the responses from the parties involved because that makes a little more sense. And I say that because it's been proven that Cody, you... Next up, yeah, oh, this is the one that I was talking about. Next up, Cody is probably going to leak something regarding Ludwig and the internet goes crazy. <laughs> you, you never know, bro. Ludwig, uh, keep it low, brother. Keep it low, man. And I say that because it's been proven that Cody used this information about him knowing why Doc got banned to, like, 
meme pump up sales to his like side show with his band. Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, I uh, yeah. So he posted that from Earth, mind you. Here it says from Earth, right? As you guys can see. Bruh. So he posted that from Earth on December first, twenty twenty three, or January January twelfth. I don't know. Sometimes like these dates, you know. Some yeah, I believe America does the opposite way. I, I guess the dates, but I think it's from December. Uh, if this show sells out, I'll 100% explain why uh, we banned him during the set. You know, stuff like that. Mm. Uh, which is pretty fucked up after then doing the thing and revealing the information, right? Because, like, was this true? Was it a meme? It feels like it's a meme, but, but not a cool thing to do. Uh, but let's talk about the content of uh -oh. what it is, uh -oh. right? Because even if the whistleblower's character can be thrown out, the content of what he said, if it's true, doesn't fucking matter about that guy's character, right? If, if this actually happened. Yeah. Uh, and it is a bold claim. He got caught sexting a minor. That's that. That's fucking. That's pedo shit. That's that's a big fucking deal. He should not be on any platform if that is true. A lot of mm. people are reading that and poking fun at the fact that Twitch whispers were allegedly used, which is fucking fair. That's embarrassing if that is the case. But I think there's something more important to note, which is that if that's how they found out, then Twitch was reading the messages yeah. used on Twitch whispers, <sighs> which means you have no privacy there. In fact, you don't really have privacy anywhere, even with your own internet service provider. As long as, listen, man, we don't even have to go that far. As soon as you get this smartphone, as soon as you have a smartphone, it is over. Say goodbye to your privacy. It don't exist. That mother effort don't exist, okay? Your privacy is done for as soon as you get a smartphone. And after Cody tweeted out that information, there's a few journalists who backed him up saying that that's the story that they also heard. And not just heard recently, but have known for the past few years. Nathan yeah, Grayson holy. tweeted out, without revealing all my sources, I can say this is not the first, second, or third time that I have heard this to be the case. Yeah. Slasher even tweeted out, I, I didn't, didn't lie. lie. And Slasher had a meme Crazy. tweet right around when Dr. Disrespect got banned that said, for several hours, I've been told from credible sources the reason why he got banned. So for four years, there are people who know that is the reason why Twitch... You're telling me, like, for four years, they have been sitting on all of this news? Insanity. But I guess it makes sense, right? Because, you know, the government has been sitting on the UFO files and the alien files for decades, even a century, almost a century. Bruh. So, yeah, ma makes total sense. Makes total sense. Banned doc. Now, that Four doesn't years? necessarily mean that the allegations are true, but it does mean that that is likely the reason why Twitch banned Doc. And I think Doc himself verified that information. Doc replied to this because it became a fast developing news story. Uh, and he replied to Jake Lucky's tweet, uh, giving some, some attention to it and said, yeah, Jake, seriously, ago, yeah. I get it. It's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged and they paid out the whole contract. And that instantly got shitted on. No wrongdoing was acknowledged. This motherfucker did that shit. Connor fucking quintuple ratio. Everyone is dunking on the doc because the language is very legalese. And if someone said, yeah. hey man, we think yeah, it's yeah, such yeah. a minor, the more human response would be like, no, I didn't fucking do that. That's crazy. And his response was, no wrongdoing was acknowledged, which just felt weird to people. It, it feels weird reading it right now. So he sent the follow-up, just tweeting out, uh, yeah, instead of being blind, said, listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can't say since this is the fucking internet. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been probably settled. Nothing illegal, no wrongdoing was found, and I was paid Elden Ring Monday. Basically, I did uh, 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 nothing wrong, no wrongdoing was found. I'm not talking about it anymore. I don't, I don't want to have to address this. Uh, and this can be verified because a couple of years ago, Doc on a stream said this about the ban situation. Can't talk about it. But a lot of people ask me, do, do you know the reason? Yeah, I do know the reason why now. Mm. I've known for months now the reason why. Right and I'll man. just say this right now, champs. There's a reason why we're suing the fuck out of them. Okay? Uh, I don't know how else to put it. And, and, and yeah, right here, the, the way he's saying it, it doesn't sound like that the reason was that he was accused of texting a minor. The way he's saying it, to me, it doesn't sound like that. To me, it sounds like that it was something else. Or maybe... Yeah, maybe he sued them because they wrongfully accused him of texting a minor. Maybe that's what it is, right? Uh, listen, nobody knows what's going on. This this crap is bigger than Area 51, bro. The amount of damages and, and you just don't... No. No. On this part, yeah, the amount of damages, I guess this is pretty damaging. Oh, it is. So maybe that's the case, but I'm assuming that yeah man it's kind of weird but of course like if he gets caught then anybody that's get caught like if you get caught stealing the first thing you're gonna say no i didn't do it i didn't do it so there's that aspect to it i understand that 
man, we need to get to the... We need the evidence. We need the evidence. And I feel like that in the coming days, we're gonna, maybe, So, perhaps. basically, he found out he wanted to sue them. He did sue them, and the lawsuit was successful. I feel like with that information from the doc and the verification from the journalists, that is the reason why Twitch banned doc over four years ago. It doesn't mean that it's true, but they had enough belief to go off of that to ban one of the biggest streamers on the platform. And I feel like there's two ways to interpret it from here. The first one is that they were wrong, okay? He, he actually did nothing wrong and they had to pay him out the entirety of his contract for falsely banning him. Or the A second two, one uh -oh. is that they did find it. It might have been true. The allegations are true, but it didn't technically breach contract. So they still had to pay him out because he did win the settlement after all. Uh, now, there was uh, a couple of other beliefs. Charlie made a video about this. This this story obviously blew up, and he he, he uh, touted this theory that a lot of people have. The theory I subscribe to, and the most commonly accepted theory for why he was banned, was that it must have been some kind of big contract dispute. This time period was a... And he goes on to say that this was like, maybe Doc was arguing, or sorry, negotiating a contract with Mixer, and he wasn't allowed to do that because he had a contract with Twitch. A lot of people thought that might have been the situation. W one hole I'd like to poke in this theory, which makes me believe further that he actually did get banned for the reasons that were given, uh, is because he also got banned by Discord the same exact time he was banned by Twitch, which wouldn't oh, really make sense, uh, unless there was some automatic banning no. of Discord if you lost Twitch partnership. Maybe I could see that. Kind of forgot, what did it say? <laughs> kind of forgot about it in the rush, but when Doc was first banned by Twitch, Discord also took action, damn. There was some automatic banning of Discord if you... We hold our partners to a higher standard than typical users, Bro. Uh, and Bro. Discord partners must abide by our code of conduct, which to me doesn't really mean like, oh, well, he just lost Twitch partnership, so we got rid of it. I don't know. That, I don't feel like that theory is true. I don't, I don't put much weight into that. Uh, so where does that leave us? Did Doc do it? I feel like we're talking like it's Michael Jackson. Did he did he do it? Uh, and we thought we might get some more information because today yeah. Doc went live to play the Elden Ring DLC. And this is how we open the stream. For those that are looking for me to expand on this weekend, not gonna. I already said what I needed to say. I don't give a fuck about this guy. That's it. And then he basically shrugs it off. So, yeah. not going to talk about I, I feel like that he should have a little bit. But but here's the thing, though. Even if he does, uh, people have already said... People, <laughs> people already have made their mind. And whatever he says, people are going to believe what they believe already, right? But, but, but still, we need the evidence. And maybe we're going to get it in the coming days. Or maybe we're not going to get it. Nobody knows. I want to know where you guys at, and I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this or not. Apparently, he got caught cheating, guys. Check out this video on the screen. So there's this drama ongoing as well as we speak. If you've seen it already, then check out the video on the left.